welcome to Rags to Ranches. Hold up, this isn't right. Yeah, there we go, that's ba- Wait, no, no. Yeehaw! Uh, yeah, it just doesn't feel real. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> now that's more like it. Welcome to the Sims 4 Rags to Ranches. Now see here, this is Lady Big... Okay, you know, I'm not gonna do that the whole time. Welcome, this is Lady Big Wallet the third, and she is the newest descendant in a very long line of Sims. If you're new here, first of all, I don't normally look like this. Second of all, this is just a quick look at the family tree, which we can trace back a very long way if I just keep clicking through some of the characters. You can see there's been many generations. This is actually not the first Sim. Uh, behind this Sim, there was another three or four generations, but don't worry about that. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, you can kind of see it all here. <laughs> From this Sim, you can see it all the way down. Yeah, we've got a lot of Sims and we've got a lot of series, but we're playing with Lady Big Wallet III and she's moved out to Chestnut Ridge and we're gonna be starting here in New Appaloosa, which you might be thinking, what's going on? We're doing a rags to riches by, you know, by building up a ranch? How are we gonna fit a ranch on a 20 by 20 lot? And that's the thing, we're not, we're not going to. The plan for this series is we are gonna earn our money to be able to buy a larger lot. So I'm thinking we're gonna buy somewhere up here in Galloping Gulch, because this place looks awesome. It looks really, really cool. Then eventually we will move down here to the 64 by 64 ranch in Riders Glen. This lot is awesome. Yes, we could have started there, but I thought it might be more fun to build up because we have zero simoleons. So I thought it'd be fun to start here in town, just so we get a taste of each of the different locations. And especially with the horse, if we're gonna be going to the equestrian center doing competitions, it's gonna be easier, at least at the start. So that's the plan. Now let me take off my hat and get into it. <laughs> All right, just so it's absolutely clear, we got zero simoleons. We're gonna be working our way up and making ourselves rich by running ranches, getting horses and animals. I really wanna get llamas, cows, chickens, sheep, goat, all in the same lot eventually. And simple living off the grid, just do it all. It's like cottage living, but way harder because there's way more stuff to add into that as well, so. We'll see how it goes. All right, well, we got no money. There's a few things we can do. First of all, I got some stuff from my childhood. I could sell my scouting trophy, but oh, please, I don't want to do that. Oh, if you didn't watch the last series, Lady actually has so many bonus traits. This is actually really beneficial to us because it's going to give us a lot of skill boost, basically. We're going to earn a lot of skills a lot faster. We also have the new trait of Rancher and Horse Lover, and Loves the Outdoors is our other regular trait. Okay, so one thing we can do in the new pack is jump over here to the community notice board and find some community jobs. Now this, as you can see, is going to give us money. And that's what we need. We need a thousand, I think a thousand to get a new horse. So anyway, Lady has started training a neighbor's horse. I, I don't know why we're doing that. I have literally no skill, but anyway. Oh, cheerleading team sports day, let's go. All right, so we're just off doing that. So I, I guess I'll just fast forward. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get a little bit of money for that. Oh, and for longtime viewers of the series, I have disabled aging for all of my other families at the moment because I don't want them aging up in the background when we're not sort of focusing on stuff. So anyway, only my sim will age and other NPC townies. Okay, I feel like, Darren, I gotta move down here because I keep blocking all these notifications. Howdy there, friendly reminder that the Hey Now Equestrian Center is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. If we're closed, just come back tomorrow for an exciting day of training and competition. Or as I like to call it, competition. Okie dokie. Now, actually, as I say, can I even do anything in there? Obviously it's closed now, but like, okay, so I can rescue a horse for 250, can purchase a new horse for 1,000, and a competition is horse training, sell horse, spectate. Okay, so we can do a few things. We should look into that. Unfortunately, it is, oh God, who died? <laughs> this is one of the problems with having a huge like family. So someone's died, I don't know who. Oh, maybe, you oh, the flower bunny, I think. Right, oh yeah, don't worry about Grim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how much money do I get from this? 138, pretty good. All right, I also got some horse riding skill. Um, 
With high levels of horse riding skills, Sims gains powerful moodlets from riding and more likely to win competitions at the equestrian center and are less prone to getting bucked off their horse. And I also trained the horse, uh, the neighbor's horse. Being a horse lover, Lady bonded with the horse and has received a tip for excellent care. Oh yeah. All right, so we're, we're already on the we're already on the the road to Richard. You know what? We probably shouldn't get a horse before I can like maintain a horse. You know, it'd probably be. Probably be cruel if I like got a horse and I literally don't own anything, right? <laughs> I can't even feed it. Oh, you know what we should also do? The new lot trait. Oh, lot challenge, sorry. Wild prairie grasses, because this is actually pretty awesome. Wild prairie grass. Day after day, wild prairie grass will pop up and spread. Are the seeds of this hay yielding plant carried by the wind? Gnomes, both, nobody knows. So this is great because basically it will spawn, you know, the grass around the lot, which we can then harvest, first of all, for prairie grass to feed horses or other animals. You can also use it to make nectar, but you can also find collectibles in it, which by the way, I guess considering, I think I've, I've got pretty good needs and it's like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Can I do more jobs or is that like it? <gasps> Krista! Hey everyone, it's me, Krista. You know, I'm just walking through Chestnut Ridge, you know, you know what it is. All right, no. Uh, okay, no jobs, I have to wait till the daytime. That makes sense. Ranch animal exchange, buy mini goats and shit. How much do those cost? Ooh, what, 2,000? Well, that one's 150, okay. Black mini sheep is 2,000, holy moly. Okay, all right. Also, I've heard that these are a lot of work, so I don't know if I wanna rush into that. Let's go down over to this place. Cause I'm thinking, first of all, oh yes, there's prairie grass on this lot. So in here we can find, I'm gonna say harvest all. We can find a bunch of collectibles that we can just sell. So I don't mind if I do, to be honest. Here we go, <laughs> yeah. So I've learned about a prairie grass, hey, okay. Got some prayer grass. Okay, I got no collectibles, but I did get, okay, how was this one though? No, I mean, no one lives here. So it's not like I'm stealing. I'm just borrowing the prayer grass. Oh, we got a bottle of nectar. How much is this worth? 55, not yet aged. We could age it. Although I can't afford to age it, I don't think. So apple nectar, here we go. So we've learned a little bit about it. Hang on. A crisp, clean nectar with a bright and bold entrance. Balanced profile and a buttery mouthfeel. This inspiring classic goes down smooth and doesn't overstay its welcome. Perfect companion for a fancy picnic. Effects. Helps Sims feel inspired if nectar is at least lightly aged. Inspiration persists after nectar wears off. That's cool. Yeah, we can age the nectar. Great. And we also got our prairie grass, which is in here. Alrighty. Well, let's harvest some more. Give me that, give me that sweet, sweet prairie grass. How much is prairie grass worth? 16 bucks, okay. Okay. Oh, we've had a quill for it. Yeah, the, I feel like these prayer grasses kind of give us some pretty good things. Oh, there's a big one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Heck yeah. Does this give me more, uh, more, more prayer grass than the other one? Let's see. Here we go. Oh, actually, I, th I think it did. I think I got three from that one. Okay, so there's different light. Any more? Any more? I know you're hiding more prayer grass from me. I'm not going to let you get away with it. Ooh. Oh. There is a grapevine over there. Oh, you know, we're going to make the best nectar farm ever. It's going to be so cool. All right, well, we got some good stuff. Let, let me go back. Let me go home. <laughs> we don't really have a home, but let's go to it. Let's go to our lot, our land. All right, so how much does the nectar rack cost? Is, it, is that worth my investment? Nectar, $300. Okay, that's not too bad. I could, if I sell this, I look, okay, here's the other thing. I'm well aware I could plant quill fruit and make a lot more money, but in a racks of riches that we're theming around a ranch and nectar making, that's what I want to make money from, not just planting. Because look, there's so many ways I can make a bunch of money instantaneously in this game. So we're playing by our own rules. Hmm. I do need a little bit more money. Well, I'm not really tired, but should we just nap maybe? So we can, if we get around to 7 a.m., we can do more odd jobs and stuff. And actually we might see some grass pop up on our lot as well. It's actually really useful. We have a um, a bathroom right here, which looks kind of nasty with all those flies around it, but it is useful. It's right next to my plot. And I think there's also, yeah, there's a barbecue right here. So we can make food as well. There's also a bar I could go get free food, but you know, you know, I got everything I need right here. It's fantastic. It's actually a pretty good starting lot, to be honest. All right, 5.50 in the morning. Let's go use the bathroom. And then maybe do we make food or do we get free food? Pretty expensive, baked potato, 12 bucks. Oh, actually, hang on. Is that the new food in here? Three sisters, oh, it's 30 bucks though. That's new and really cool. Native American. Look, I don't have a lot of money. I'm gonna make a baked potato. <laughs> That's only $12.
We'll have to do the... Th oh, it's New Year's Eve. Yeah. All right. Well, the equestrian center and the odd jobs are nearly open. I love this, by the way. It looks so cool. Like the, the hot coals all like glowing in there. I think that looks sweet. We can pretend that this... Look, if, if we just look at this scene by itself and don't think about anything else. We could be like, wow, look at my ranch. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeehaw! Flip that baked potato. Although I don't know how you bake a potato on top of a grill, but whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go. Are you going to eat them or are you just going to put it down? Feel free to take one. Any second now. Okay, don't worry, I'll help. Here you go, grab a serving. All right, let's eat that potato because it is time for odd... Actually, so equestrian center. I can apparently enter a competition. Wait, what happens if I just enter? I don't have a horse or anything. And it doesn't seem to cost money. Oh, okay, no, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it does cost money. Okay, let's uh, let's maybe build up. I don't think we're quite ready for that. All right, nothing really useful there then. We, we just need to do some more jobs. I want to waste my money. Okay, on... Oh, I need a horse to do a bunch of these jobs. Or a mini sheep, dang it. Okay, well we can do this one. Riding skill increases too. That's actually pretty good. That increases our riding skill. Oh, okay, I just walked here and went off to do the job with my potato. I took my potato with me, that's cool. <laughs> 138 simoleons, okay. So now... Oh, we got prairie grass! Yeah! Wait, can I just, I can just sell these for five bucks. <laughs> no, I'll leave them because then they'll start growing and we can get collectibles. You better believe I'm wasting my first bit of money on a nectar rack. One cool thing as well is if we actually put this in a basement, it actually ages the nectar quicker, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to say store nectar. I think I can just drag it, but I, you know, I'll make my sim do it. It'll look cooler. Okay, yeah, just finish that potato. There, there you go. All right. Do you want to go to the nectar rack? Uh, you know what? I'm also going to hit save. Because I feel like there's been a lot more crashes lately, which is just awesome. Hey, Yeehaw! Damn, that, that is a powerful stride. Let's go. All right, are these harvestable or are these just small? No, i got to wait for them to grow. So that might be tomorrow. All right, so the bottle is in there. Now we play the waiting game. So is there any prairie grass in this neighborhood as well? I haven't checked. <gasps> there is. Hello. Ooh, there's a frog too. But I'm not here for frogs. I'm here for the grass. Okay, anything over here? I'm kind of looking around the houses. There's probably where it would be placed. Um, I do love the sort of Western style of this little town. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, horse! I haven't even seen a horse yet. Oh, that, I mean, that, that was cool. All right, thanks for watching Horse Ranch, everyone. We saw our first horse. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, get that prairie grass. That's a long one, too. Oh, look at all this prairie. Wait, you didn't even, you didn't even get it all. <laughs> you kind of just stopped. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get that one either. What the? Wait, hang on. We are getting prayer. Oh, wait, there we go. Ooh, outstanding quality horse manure. Let's go. So I think this is actually useful for plants, right? Oh, I can sell my fertilizer. So I can use horse manure just to make my, oh, that's cool. What's this? Coconut. Yeah. Let's sell that. Well, I'm going to sell that fertilizer, I guess. The horse manure. Or was I supposed to turn it into fertilizer? Because it did say it was horse manure, not fertilizer. I don't know, but it was pretty good. All right. We are doing good. So wait, how much was it to adopt a horse again? I've already forgotten. Uh, 250. Okay. Well, hang on. How much is the other horse stuff? <laughs> I do need other stuff for the horse as well. Okay. So water trough, 50. Not bad. I can hand feed the horse, but it's 50 for a feeder. And then the bet. Oh, that's one. It's only 150 for all the horse stuff. I don't know what you guys are so worried about. In real life, everyone's like, oh, horses are so expensive. Dude, horses are only like 150 bucks. <laughs> Just a nice example of the Sims economy being completely different. But you know what? I don't mind because that's going to make it easier for us. All right, there's got to be prayer grass out here. Look at this place. Can I even walk? Oh, I can't even walk out there. It's decorative. All right, never mind. Uh, there's got to be prayer grass in here. Look at this. Oh, big side. Is there only two? Oh, cars confirmed. Let's go. Where? where where's all my prayer grass? Is it, uh, I, need, I need to make money. Oh, there's a plant in here. Oh wait, no, there isn't. <laughs> I thought there was something already there. It looked like there was already stuff planted, but there is not. Okay, those might have been the only two here. Uh, I mean, not including my own on my lot. Um, okay, so that's fine. I didn't, I didn't want any more than that. All right, let's do. Well, let's do another little, uh, little job. It's the same one, but you know, it's good for our skill. It's good for a little bit of cash. We got one horse riding. Let's, look at us go. So yeah, there, there are frogs in like the dig sites around the place. But like I said, I'm, I want to make money off the new horse ranch stuff. That's what we're doing. Horse lover lesson. Lady is a horse lover. Horse lovers enjoy socializing with horses and are empathetic to horse emotions. Because of this deep connection, they may get sad when they have not interacted with the horse for a while. Oh boy. Look, that's probably, yep, 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 yep. That's going to be a problem for a little bit until we get enough money. So look, I'm working hard, okay? I'm working. Ooh, I can plan outfits in this building over here. Cool. <laughs> cool. All right, well, another 138. Seems like we're getting the same amount. I do have enough for all the horse stuff now, but of course I don't have enough for a horse. 
but we can make my horse feel comfortable. Get one of these, get a little trough. Look at this, this is gonna be beautiful. Little ho I don't know if they actually need a horse, but I'm gonna give them one. Look, isn't that stunning? Can I make this look a little, little older? Like, yeah, there you go. And we'll give the horse some nectar in case he gets thirsty. <laughs> Which one of these is not like the other? All right, so now I can fill this. Look at this. Refill feeder with prairie grass, because I've got it. I've got a bunch of it. 22. Ooh, rancher lesson. Lady is a rancher at heart. Her idea of a good time includes doing chores around the ranch and interacting with livestock. <laughs> rancher sims excel at ranch life, occasionally making a bonus bottle when crafting nectar or extra hay when harvesting prairie grass. She'll be more successful at horse breeding. I don't know why I'm reading it like that. <laughs> But that, no, that's good. Okay, we've got plenty of food. Now all we need is a horse. Horse? Is there a horse out here? <laughs> I can't believe we've only seen one horse. Let's go to the, let's go to the gulch. Let's gulch it up. I guess I, uh, it's kind of weird. These are all like residential. I guess it's a rental. Let's go to the rental. Let's go there. Let's maybe meet some horses and maybe find some more collectibles. I only need 250. It's not actually that hard. I probably could have got, I, I could probably sell some of this for s s some money, but you know, I feel like I need the prairie grass. Alrighty, where are my horses at? Oh. Look at all that grass right there, that sweet, sweet prairie grass. Should have gone to their house. Wait, does this one have any? I didn't check. Dang it. <laughs> oh, look, oh my gosh, look at this view. Yeah, I reckon this world is pretty beautiful. It's a pretty stunning world. Dang. Okay, but I'm not here to look at the beauty. I'm here to make money. Oh, but look at this. <laughs> prairie grass. Sweet, sweet prairie grass. Come to mama. Yeah, oh, I have a bicycle. Wait, I don't even know I had that. Where did, that wasn't in my inventory, was it? I guess probably in the last Let's Play, we did have a bicycle, but maybe I left it in another world somewhere and then it just came back to my inventory. Uh, don't worry about that, that's fine. You know what, I'm I'm not gonna complain because that got us here a lot quicker. What do you mean you can't get that? I was like, no, 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 stop. <laughs> get off the dang bike. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is one of uh, one of our other outfits. I guess this is our hot weather wear because it's hot here. Yeehaw, look at that sweet horse t-shirt. All right, give me that, uh, give me that prairie grass. <laughs> I guess once we get a horse, we can probably get rid of the bicycle. Oh, apple nectar, let's go. Yeah. Uh, okay, is there a bathroom here? Surely there is. But the question is where? Oh, there's a bush. Here we go. That'll do. Now this is what I call a metal horse. Oh, I love how this bike is actually working flawlessly. You notice that? Look at those sweet pedals. Uh, that that definitely seems like a new bug. I'm gonna... <laughs> they weren't like that the... <laughs> just before, were they? Is that since Horse Ranch? It's literally the opposite of where it should be. Anyway, here we are. The bathroom. Just gotta get off my metal horse. Okay, I don't need to watch. Uh, all right, prairie grass. I mean, there's gonna be, <laughs> found one, so gonna be more than one. Gotta say, there's not as much as I would have liked, but I do have more nectar to age, which is good. I feel like one day we're gonna buy this place. This is where we're gonna live. Pretty cool. Oh, where am I going? I'm running down over here somewhere. Yeah, you know, oh, prairie grass. <gasps> yes. Oh, look at this. Can I, I wanna live here in this rundown little shack. Oh my gosh, what is this? That is unknown horse, what? I mean, look, it's a beautiful place to be buried, but what the heck? That's so sad. We don't even know who the horse is. All right, come on, it's New Year's Eve. Give me that New Year's Eve luck. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. <laughs> Out here harvesting prairie, prairie grass at 10 p.m. on New Year's Eve. You know, it's a rancher's life for me. What did I get? I just got prairie grass, okay. No, no, let's, can, can we stop doing that? <laughs> All right, let's go back home. We got some nectar to age. All right, let's uh, store all non-finely aged nectar bottles. All right, and then I guess what I can do is if I open this, not yet aged. So it has not been long enough yet. I mean, I guess I literally put it in there this morning. Anyway, now we have two bottles in there. Heck yeah. Are my potatoes still good? <laughs> I mean, they're still there. <laughs> Are they good? Dang it, spoiled. That was all my money. <laughs> right, I'm kind of hungry though. Let's, um. oh gosh, I have even less money now. We're 12. I mean, $23. All right, well, my prairie grass should grow in the morning, which is great news. I'm gonna grill up some more potatoes. Let's go. Yeah, I know those ones are stinky, but grab this one. Is there a bin here or are these just gonna rot forever? <laughs> oh, there is a bin. Hmm, <laughs> that's what I call a potato. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Yummy, wow, there's a lot of stars in this world. Kind of makes sense if we're kind of out, you know, in the ranch area. Can we throw this away? Cause that's kind of gross. Cramping my style, thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, hello? Oh, right, big wallet. Hey, dad. That's my dad. Well, not my dad, but it's lady's dad. Okay, you don't need to ride the bike over there. You could probably just walk, but that's cool. At least the bike gives us a bunch of fun. Hey, dad, welcome to my ranch. Yep, that, this is it. <laughs> this is all I got going on here. <gasps> Did you hear about the frogs? 
They're pretty cool out here. Actually, that's really cute. He came here on New Year's, well, actually, it's New Year's Day. He kind of missed the New Year's Eve part. Uh, yes, we are close. That's really sweet. You know what? Give me my residence keys. You can come by whenever. Here you go. I mean, uh, you don't really need a key. You can probably just show up. Anyway, thanks for coming. I gotta go nap on this bench now. <laughs> See ya. Oh, I, I went to a, I thought, Okay, oops, I went a little bit too far. That's okay. Mmm, that's right. I don't have a way to shower. That's fine. We'll be okay. Uh, you can go home now, Rye. Let me just uh, send home. Uh-oh, I'm stinking. <laughs> I have stink lines. <laughs> oh boy. <gasps> yes, my prairie grass has grown. Look at this. All right, how's my nectar? Lightly aged. Hello. That one's not yet aged. Lightly, oh, it's 110. It's like double price. Okay. Yes, that's good. All right, let's harvest all my prayer grass. I keep getting on this metal steed. I'm not so sure about it. Was it really supposed to start with that? But you know what? Whatever. This world is so clearly designed to ride your horse around in that everything's kind of far apart. So if you don't have a horse or a bike, it's kind of annoying. So you know what? I'm going to take the horse. Oh, the horse. <laughs> I'm going to take the bike and I'm going to enjoy it. All right, nothing in there. All right. I mean, we're getting prayer grass. Ooh, yes. Strawberry nectar. Ooh. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay, this is finely aged. Does that mean, is that as much as it can be aged? Yeah, you, you remember how I said, um, I thought the prairie grass, you can find like kind of crazy stuff in there. <laughs> well, we did it. I mean, so yeah, hang on, let me put it in there. Let me, let me just see. So is that like, hang on, so if I click here. Yeah, so I think finely aged is done. So we could just sell that. I mean, I guess we, <laughs> okay. You know, I like a challenge in Rex of Riches, but I also do want to get a horse, you know, and kind of start the story. What if I take a bottle? Like, what if I take a sip? Because they come with four serving. Oh. All right, strawberry neck. Let's read about it first, you know, see how rare it is. Sweet strawberry flavors tumble across the palate, frolicking together and igniting the senses. Fall in love with this nectar. And maybe also the consenting individual next to you. Hello? Oh. All right, effects help Sims feel flirty. If a nectar is at least lightly aged, a flirting feeling persists. Okay, so this is kind of like a flirty nectar. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, so finely aged is the top age. Okay, now how mad would you guys be if I drink this nectar instead of selling it? That's, a, okay, you know what? We, we need like a shit, let's sell it. <laughs> yeah, money! Okay, first of all, before I get a horse, let me just, let's, uh, we need like a little cabin. Just as like a little cabin. Just so I have some indoor space. I'm gonna live here. It doesn't need to be big. You know, tiny homes we can make pretty tiny. That's like a thousand dollars already. You know, this will be fine. This will be, we're gonna build like this, you know? How much are these columns? 25, that's pretty good. Oh my God, this column looks so much bigger than this house. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> this column looks huge compared to our house. All right, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. Oh yes, little log cabin. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. Uh, our balcony is kind of weird, but about uh, like a little porch, sorry. But it's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. Now I really can't waste money here. As much as I want to. How much is this door? 40? Well, this cottage door is even less. Is this too cottagey? That Maybe that one's too, this one's probably okay. Oh my God, this window is like huge compared to my house. All right, I guess I have to use this one. Okay, this is literally all I'm gonna do because we do need to get a horse, so. And I actually need to get furniture. <laughs> I need to actually live on stuff. So I guess I'll do the flooring like this one. A little bit up there. Okay, really I need, I don't need a toilet. I need a shower because I can't shower anywhere right now. So I'm just gonna get that. Oh yes, horse hoofs. <laughs> well, not hoofs, all shoes. And probably a bed would be nice. How much is that? 300 for the reclaimed one, or we could do like the werewolf one. That's probably better for our little cabin, even cheaper. So that's pretty good. And look, it'd be rude not to have a side table. Okay, that's all. That's all we have for now because we can eat, you know, over at the barbecue, we can go to the toilet over there. Um, but we just need to shower and somewhere eat somewhere better to sleep. Is there a better post box in this one? This one kind of doesn't really work. Werewolves? Yeah, that's kind of fun. A little old rusted mailbox. Aw, look at our little cabin. Look at this! Alright, we're gonna get a horse. Uh, a sign- oh. I guess I have to- hang on. Rescue horse. Now, rescuing a horse is a little bit more difficult than getting a new horse because, as it says, due to the environment they came from, rescue horses will have more difficult traits. Some extra attention and care may be needed, but that's okay. Lady also needs some extra attention and care because we came from a very spoilt and wealthy household. So <laughs> I like flame. Oh, text. Wait, so we've got, oh, okay, adult horse, elder, elder. Now some might call a foal a fowl but that would be wrong. It's, it's a foal, just so you know, that's how you that's how you pronounce it. So we have a foal and a, uh, uh, oh, I was gonna say, are they an age order? No. Then we have an adult horse and another foal, I think, yeah. All right, well, I probably, I like the idea of a foal, but I feel like we kind of need an adult horse 
to do more stuff right now. And I don't want an Elder Horse, because unfortunately they're probably gonna die a little bit sooner. So, Adult Horses, who have we got? We got a Stallion, Aggressive, Needy, and Defiant. Yeah, that's kind of rough, isn't it? <laughs> Flame, Defiant, Fearful, and Aggressive. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, those are our options. <laughs> right, so they're both aggressive. Hmm. Well, if we get a Mare, could we breed? I feel like a Stallion's more scary if they're aggressive. I'm gonna get Flame. An Adult Horse, they're a Mare. They're defiant, fearful, and aggressive. Not great, but you know, we'll work together. We're gonna work together, and we're gonna be a, a beautiful, happy horse girl and horse together at last. Oh, maybe I should have showered first. I'm literally leaving a trail of stink behind me. At least I know how to get home. I just follow my stink trail. <laughs> All right, let's ride over to the equestrian center. Here we are. Ooh, here we go. Oh, hey there. Howdy. Oh, horse trainer. Oh, can I ask you for help or something? Yay, flame. What does a flame big well? I don't want the three in there because that's just for lady. Welcome to the family. Or should I say the flamely? <laughs> What's that? No, no, I shouldn't say that. Okay. All right. Come on out. Oh gosh, camera. Beep, 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 beep. Me. Howdy, Lady Big Wallet. My name is Flame. <laughs> Me. This is how I talk. All right. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Congratulations, you have a horse. Owning a horse is a way of life that requires hard work, training, and lots of care. All right, to properly care for a horse, you will need a handful of items. Stock up on uh, from build mode. Uh, the helpful items include the feeder, the water trough, the bed, the ball. Oh, that's right, I didn't get the ball. That would actually be good. And the jumps or barrels. We don't need the jumps or barrels on my own lot because we can visit them in the rest of the world. Now, I feel like this horse is probably gonna hate me. So what I'm gonna do is, well, first of all, I actually kind of need to go home. So, well, let's chat. Okay, this horse is like, hi, I'm Lady Big Wallet the Third. It's really nice to meet you. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that voice. Uh, all right, we acquired the temperament skill. Okay, I gotta do a lot of learning here. Uh, Flame's new skill and temperament will begin to help her successfully socialize with Sims and other horses. As this skill increases, socialization will become even more successful. Horses with high temperament skill are less likely to buck riders and will perform better at certain community jobs. Okay, cool. To track a horse's skill program, select open profile on Flame in the relationships panel. So the weird thing is, like the horse is a member. Oh no, you're scared. The horse is a member of your family, kind of like cats and dogs, and kind of like cats and dogs. I can't click on it. Kind of, kind of annoying. But to see it, we go to our relationships and then uh, open profile. So here we can see the value of the horse. No competition with one. The temper and the skills. Oh, we're friends. That's nice. Okay. Well, let's go home. I'm not gonna try ride flame just a second. Let's go home. Oh my god, I'm so disgusting right now. <laughs> So if you just want to follow me, Flame, you'll be able to find your way home. Nay! Well, I do declare I enjoy this town. I'm getting worried that I'm going to have to keep doing that voice for the <laughs> for the eternity of the uh, Let's Play. Uh, okay, that's not home. I, I okay, home is actually over here. Okay, I did also say jog here, but I guess we're going to ride our bike. Anyway, let's call the horse over. Flame! Flame, I'm over here! Come over this way. Here, girl. Ah, oh, there she is. Let's go. Ride him, cowpoke. Yeah, here she comes. Isn't she majestic? Oh, this is all I've been waiting for all my life. All right, so now I click on this and say, uh, assign bed to flame. So that's, sh is that just the sign or do I have to actually go there and do it? Uh, oh yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Cool. Oh, flea mark. Actually, that could be useful. Okay, I do want to get the horse ball though. That is something that we should get to keep flame uh, happy. Here we go. Uh, so we'll just put this out here somewhere. Should we try it? Let's do a, uh... oh, rainbow. Should we do a basketball? <laughs> I love that little baseball. Ooh, dirty one, yeah. Is that the only dirty variant? I liked it because it was nasty. Let's do that. Now I'll ask Flame to play. What does Flame need actually? Fl Flame is scared. I, I don't know if I should be like trying to talk to Flame. Here Flame, oh, you did not like that. It's like, no. All right, well. Okay, well, you know, I'll let you get comfortable. I'm just gonna take a shower real quick because I <laughs> kind of stink real bad. There you go. Probably should actually give the horse some shelter too, hey? Because this is just out in the open. Don't worry, I'm a I'm a very experienced horse owner. How much do these columns cost me? 25 bucks? I could afford this. Oh, okay, this, oh, dang it. They're just playing with it too and I just ruined it. All right, there we go. So we got a little, uh, a little thing I can put a roof on. I don't need, look, I could have it floating, but you know, it's nice. Okay, I can't, <laughs> I can't afford to do it. I have to do, I have to place a roof over here. <laughs> there's no, there's nowhere I can place it. So I have to do this and then drag it over. It's fine. There we go. Might rotate it that way. Yeah, look at this. It's actually pretty cool. I like this. 
I guess, okay. You know what? I should probably put my nectar inside, maybe. Yeah, I'll put it next to my shower so we can get extra flavors. Yummy. There we are. Um, okay. Can I fit this under here a little? At least a little bit. It doesn't have to be fully under. I don't know. Can they, you know, I might face it outward because I'm not sure if they can stand on this. You know what? Let's find out. Face it inward. See if they can stand on uh, here and eat and drink and stuff. All right. Look at this little shelter. Yeah, this is looking good. We got a, we got a whole, a whole house. We're pretty much done. There we go. Ooh, what are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing, Flame? You gonna play with the ball? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Let's go! What do you need? Still scared. Mm, yeah. Well, I'll leave you to it for a little bit. I, I don't wanna like, I don't wanna like push. Oh! Look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. Call horse to drink. Call ranch animal exchange. Oh, goodbye. Okay, no longer scared. Uh, let me try. Well, I don't want to get too close. Let's just, can I just chat? Oh, hang on, let's see this. Horse care, plant outfits, call over, call to drink. No, no, no. Friendly. Oh, encourage to breed. Let's go. I don't want to overstep my, my welcome here, my, my bounds. I just gotta, I, I feel like my first task is to have this horse like, Trust me, you know? Days till age up, 50. Okay, interesting. So that's how we can see the age. Hey Flame, I rescued you, remember me? I'm the person that res- uh oh. Ooh. Now you're scared again, okay. What if I say, calm down? You know, that's what you always tell to someone when they're scared, is to calm down! <laughs> let me try, let me try. Oh God, that does not look good. <laughs> that does not look good. It's okay, there, oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Oh, that was negative, all right. I don't think that helped, it looked like it helped. What about tell joke? Don't worry, flame, get this. A horse walks into a bar and the bartender says, hey, and the horse says, yes, please. <laughs> oh gosh, all right, did not like that either. Oh God, okay. Um, what about hand feed? What, what if I try to feed you? What's the difference between these two? I got two different ones. I don't know. I just I, don't, I feel like I need to bond with you a little bit. Oh, there you go. Oh, Don Gooseman. Oh, oh. Dang it, they look, what? Every other horse I see just disappears. Okay, well that was nice. What did I say, what's wrong? What does that, what, what does that tell me? Does that tell me something? What's wrong, Flame? Oh, here we go, yeah, that is good. Flame is feeling scared after getting spooked. Lots of things can rile up a horse, but a little reassurance, reassurance, <laughs> reassurance and a kind gesture are sure to help. Okay, well I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Hug. I don't think we're on that level yet, to be honest. Um, what about just, I just try to talk to her again. That seemed good. I'm, I mean, I'm happy. You're still kind of scared. What about if I, you know, maybe I'll try rubbing the neck. Maybe, maybe the neck. There you go. Yeah, that, that's nice. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. Oh wait, no, that was happy. <laughs> I mean, there was like a happy icon, <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, I, let, let me leave you to it for a little bit. I'm gonna go to sleep. What, is, did the horse just pee there? <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, and that little shelter. That's really cute. Yeah, I'm actually, oh, hello. I wanted to ask if I should get to know Dominic Chacon. Sure. Oh, when I saw, oh, look, it's all excellent. Everything, I'm a, I'm a great horse owner. <laughs> You guys thought I wouldn't be any good. I mean, this is the, this is all you need to become a great rancher. So is the horse like kind of cats and dogs where they just sleep at the same time as your sim does? Yeah, it looks like it. Cause I got up and then the, then the horse gets up right away. Listen to flame, okay? Oh God, ah, ah, <laughs> what, <are>, ah. <laughs> flame was like, how could you do this to me? <laughs> Good Lord, now that's one way to be woken up. That's for sure, what's this? Chat, talk to, okay? Well, I really got to pee, so. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, can I look for mini sheep, mini goats, horses? Yes, okay. You know what? It's kind of funny, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. Maybe maybe in another house, we can look at the, uh, here's the toilet. Hello? Oh, hey, Rye. Ah, oh, playing with the little ball again. So the horse is a pretty good mood. Uh, I don't have a lot of money anymore. But that's okay. I think that's as a job for another day. Oh God, Rai, what are you doing? Please be careful, Rai. Okay. Oh, that, oh God. Oh God, Rai, no, no. <laughs> okay. Well, that was nice. Yeah. But unfortunately, that's all the time we got for today, folks. I'm gonna need you to be getting off my ranch. <laughs> Thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. This week's behind the scenes video is gonna have more on all this. So that's gonna be a bit of fun. <laughs> so if you wanna see that, become a member. But I hope you enjoyed this first part. Part two will be coming soon. We've got the horse now, which I'm pretty excited about. So that means we can do some more of those uh, jobs with our horse. We're also gonna work on befriending flame. And we've got a few nectars to aid. We gotta, we gotta start making nectar as well. But I think we'll focus on the horse to start off with maybe mini sheep and that, but I don't know if we have enough room. Maybe we should save up to buy the other lot. Uh, in the Galloping Gulch. But until then, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And don't be a stranger. And have an awesome day.